Hi everyone, my name is Charles, and welcome back to the second part of the OpenSCAD video series. So, in this part, we're going to learn saving files, loading files, some of the views, um, the axes that you see down here, just what it all means, and how to create your first 3D object. So, uh, just some things to get set up that might be helpful. We're going to go to View, top of the screen. Uh, we're going to move down and click on Show Crosshairs. So these red things should show up in the middle of the screen. So to move the screen around, you just click and drag. It's really that simple. You just move it around. Um, so we go back to View. I think this is everything that we want. There are a few things you want to make sure. Um, show axes is here too. Pretty sure that corresponds to the axes in the bottom left. Also, the all the axes. So it's it, it's important at least while you're um while you're editing, working on a model. It's it's helpful to have them. So another thing that you want to notice is this little. Um, set of axes in the bottom left corner. This corresponds to the X, Y, and Z axes. And so you can see that the X axis is pointing in this diagonal direction. So that means that this axis is the X axis. And this is important uh, when we start putting in numbers in certain places. So the Y axis is on this diagonal. So it's this axis and the Z axis is uh, essentially straight up and down. So it's this axis. Um, and we know about that. You have two different views. Uh, it does, probably won't make sense right now what they are, what they're useful for, but you have perspective and orthogonal. So you can switch between those and they're useful for different things. We're going to go over that a little bit more later when we start actually working with 3D objects. So, um, we're going to create our first 3D file now or 3D object. So it's really easy. You just type in cube and a semicolon. There needs to be a set of parentheses, cube, parentheses, semicolon, colon. It's a specific syntax and it's important that it's like that. So uh, then we press F5 and something appeared on the screen and that's our cube. So there's more details about how to control the parameters of this cube that we're gonna go over in a little bit. Uh, in the next part, but right now we just want to look at it, navigate around, see what it's like. Um, so you can see that the center of the cube is somewhere else and we have the edge of the cube on the origin, which is the point in the middle. Now, if we want to move our view around, something that's really helpful about OpenSCAD is that you have this, uh, these crosshairs that allow you to determine what point you're rotating around. So if you right click, and drag, you drag the point that you're rotating around. So we can drag that into the middle of the object, we can drag that outside the object, we can drag that pretty close to an edge of an object. So we can look around and observe our object. So now say we have our file, we like our file, we want to save it. So go file, save as, uh, I'm just going to save this file again, I'm going to overwrite it. Uh, you can pick a new name, it doesn't matter. We click save. I'm going to replace it. Yes. And close the file now. And open it up. And if I want to open it, I can go to recent files and part one. And it's right there. And it just opens up and it will render automatically. And it's great. And that's pretty much it for part two. Uh, that's just how to navigate around a few views, some important things to have that are useful when you're nav navigating around OpenSCAD and how to create your first 3D object. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.